Shalom beloved. Our verse for today is the book of Revelation chapter 12 verse 1. It reads, Now a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. The book of Revelation is full of signs, but chapter 12 becomes the second division of the book called the book of signs, because very many signs are in this second part. And in this second part, the dichotomy, the battle between light and darkness becomes sharp, sharper than before. And this second part begins with the vision of a great sign, the vision of a woman. And uh, the figure of a woman recalls immediately the Old Testament, where Jerusalem, Zion, is described as our mother. Zion is called mother, for instance, in Psalm 87. Also, in the book of Galatians chapter 4, verse 26, Paul describes the new Jerusalem from heaven as our mother. But here specifically, this vision shows this woman as the mother of the Messiah. And this woman is adorned with the cosmic symbols of light, sun, moon, stars, clothed with the sun, the highest source of light. But we note here that this woman is not said to be the source of light herself. No, she is only clothed with the light. And remember that God is light. God is described in the Bible many times as infinite light, as the highest light. But this woman is clothed with the sun, clothed with light. On her feet is the moon and crowned with the stars. A personification of light, she faces the hostile forces of darkness, represented by the dragon. The dragon appears, described, and does wonders and wonders, while this woman is in the pangs of birth. The dragon wants to eat the child of the woman, but the, when the child is born, this child is taken up to God in heaven. The dragon fights against the woman, but the dragon is defeated by Archangel Michael and his host of angels. He begins now to make trouble against the woman and her children, and then the final defeat of the dragon will come in chapter 20 towards the end of Revelation. Dearly beloved, this woman symbolizes the church whose mother she is. The church is besieged by powerful forces of darkness. But as Jesus tells us, the gates of hell shall never, shall never prevail against us. However, it is not by our own power. The woman was adorned with light. We shall defeat the evil one adorned also with light, adorned with the power of God, not by our own powers. We celebrate today the assumption of this woman who is an eschatological icon of the church who shows us what we are going to be when we fight our battle well. And so, we ask her to intercede for us today as we do our battle, that we may emerge always victorious, clothed in the light. We pray her to guide us as mother, step by step, until when we shall be clothed with the eternal light of glory. This is our faith, this is our hope, and we hope it shall come to pass through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you always.